Okay, so here's a quick demo of the program so far. So what you're looking at through this screen is um, what the camera sees. The camera's right here. And through the screen next to it there, you're seeing um, everything that it sees as different. So I'm going to hit spacebar, and what it's going to do is take the first 60 frames it sees and make a background from it. And then anything it sees that it thinks is different from the background will show up on that screen. Obviously, because the camera's not perfect, there's a little bit of static, so that's what it sees there. Anything that's significant is going to show up down here with a with a circle around it, for because it'll take the the contour of the change, fit an ellipse to it, and then from the ellipse I can get a center point and then make that a target. So like I'm just going to stick my arm into the photo here. And you can see that it distinguishes me from the background and puts a circle around it that's roughly the shape of that. So I can put my whole arm in it and it'll, it'll take the whole contour and put an ellipse around it the best it can. See, that's what it looks like in the difference thing there. See, if I take it back out now, there's no target anymore. So that works pretty good. The only problem I can foresee with this is something would enter the screen, like you know maybe a leaf falls or something and it would have to update itself. So I'm thinking what happens is after it enters the screen, the target, you know, like a human or whatever, and then, you know, it'll t take a shot at it and then reacquire the background. So let's say, or let's say the camera gets m m bumped and that happens. It would have to reacquire the background, which should take about two seconds, and then it'll be fine again. So there you go.